to create this layout you can could use um, uh, pattern paper for the background but I've chosen to use a white cardstock yellow cardstock black cardstock and just some paper flowers from the, the botanical burst now we're going to create a circle we're going to use the so we'll need the jumbo circle matten blades the blades um, we are going to use the honeycomb new honeycomb border maker cartridge I want to create some bumblebees so we'll need the gemstones egg for the body and uh, either uh, a small circle inside blue blade to do a one inch circle or you could use a one inch, one inch punch totally up to you um, the photos will be hexagons um, oh also for you you're going to create two bumblebees like I said so the body will be the eggplant the head will be the one inch the wings will be this great shape out of the piece by piece punch set and the feet and antennae will be the negative remains of the music border maker punch so that's everything you're going to need to do it so you will need to start by uh, cutting inside now the inside of your black cardstock with uh, black circle uh, sorry black start again you need to cut the inside of your uh, jumbo circle first with the green blade and then without moving you will use the red blade and that will give you your circle and the leftovers we will use to create the other elements on our page now you could do if you want a wider ring you could do uh, the blue and the red totally up to you so that's what you're going to be left with to go on your white pay on your white cardstock so you will adhere that to somewhere in the center of the page but before you do that we need those to one side I'm going to take your border maker system and your honeycomb punch honeycomb cartridge and the rest of the sheet of your black cardstock and you will need to punch out two or three lengths of your honeycomb now with this layout we don't want to keep as such so with this layout we don't want to keep the honeycomb in full length so you'll need a pair of precision point scissors and I'll show you very shortly what you're going to do with those so one more I th think you'll probably need uh, between two and three lengths to give you what you need Now, what I had in mind when I designed this layout was, you see all of those lovely um, layouts done by other people and other companies, and they quite often use a, a honeycomb stamp to give you an effect with a honeycomb stamp. Well, and I thought, well, you know what? I wonder if we can create a similar effect but use cardstock to get the same effect so that's been the total inspiration behind this layout 
to try to get that. So there we go. There's a couple. And we'll have a bit of a clean up. And I'll come back to you and show you the next step. Now with a pair of precision point scissors and your honeycomb strips, we are going to cut them apart and take them apart. Now I think they look really great if you take off the couple of end pieces you see here. So you kind of get that end of it looking like that. And then if you count one, two, three, four, five, p five middle honeycomb sections, one, two, three, four, five, and cut it, you'll get some really good lengths. And you want to create a whole lot of shapes like that. So I'll do another one. One, two, three, four, five. And you can do some shorter ones as well. So I'll do another long one. And I want to show you how these are going to go on the layout. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then you're left with this shorter piece where you can do a shorter one at the end. Once again, you need to get rid of those bits. So you're left with that sort of shape instead. Okay, so keep going until you have them all, all your pieces cut up. Okay, now we've got our um, circle roughly tacked down with some repositionable tape. What we're going to do is we're going to create a sort of a clutter as such of honeycomb. So what you need to do, and hopefully you can see this properly what I'm doing here, is you need to pick a point in your honeycomb piece with the flat edges and they need to join. So you're going to adhere them roughly. Make sure they're buttered up to each other when you stick them down so there's no gaps and you can't see where the connection piece is. So keep going and adhering, but make sure, like, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here, where I'm connecting, you can still see where in between those pieces are creating the honeycomb, the hexagon. And keep doing that abstractly, however you like, until you have found the cluster that you like. No right and wrong way of doing it. Until you get exactly what you want. And I think it works really well if you have sort of a small piece at both ends. So you just have to work out where that small piece will go to create your cluster. Once you've lined it all up, you need to adhere it down. So you just work out roughly the shape you want. And like I say, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. Um, you just need to work out what works for you. So once you do that, I did a, uh, I'm doing a shape this end and then I'm doing a shape up this end. So you will have several clusters going and I haven't quite punched enough out here so I'll have to go back and punch more but you're getting the general idea you just want it to create some dynamic shape so you can see how that's already looking a little bit abstract so keep going until you've got a couple of 
abstracty shapes that both look like honeycomb. All right, we'll stick this down and we'll come back to you when we're, when we're done. Now to create your bumblebees, you will need to use some goldenrod or yellow cardstock, the gemstone with the egg shape and your green blade. And for each bee, you will need to cut a yellow body, a black body with a green blade, exactly the same. one side and then oops the uh, and for the head the smallest circle blue blade will give you the right size head okay and you will do one for each bee and and I think probably two bees will do it nicely so then for each bee you will also need to create um with a uh, with the um music note cartridge you will need to punch out several of these for your for your antennae and um legs so that will give you the feet and so forth. You won't need that. You will need for the stinger, if you use this funny little shape out of the piece by piece pack, I found probably works the best to punch out the stinger. And then we will need a scrap of white cardstock, which I will find to do the wings so it's just a matter of punching out two of these for the wings and then it's time to put it all together so I like to ink around the edges of things totally up to you but basically you can see your yellow and um and black bodies are exactly the same shape so that's going to be a base and this is the one we're going to cut up to give us our stripe so if you start from the tail end and with just a pair of scissors just cut the very end off and you can make the stripes as big as you like so there's the first one we only need three now for the next one we would cut a piece off that we'll discard and then we cut the next piece and you can see that's starting to come together and then once again cut a piece off and it, nothing accurate needs to be about it discard the last piece it's all discard and that will give you your body then your head you will need to excuse me leaning over uh, draw with your fine tip pen a couple of little eyes little oval eyes and a little u-shaped smiley mouth so that will give you the face now, before I stick it all down, I'm going to ink around the edges. Now, if you want it to run the other way, which I might do, just turn it around the other way. So, the body goes the other way. So, then that will be my wings. Hopefully, you can see all that. See it coming together. This will be my feet. 
these little bumblebee feet. Could be that. And, uh, oops. And then the stinger needs to go that way underneath him. Needs to be adhered that way. So you can see the stinger coming into place. And then two of the the plain music notes will become your little bees antennae. And you can see how all that works. So I think I'll go and ink all the edges and then we'll put it all together and then we'll move on to our next step. Now we're going to cut some mats for our photos and I actually haven't worked out what photos I want to use for this layout. It probably will be my youngest daughter because her name is Bailey and her nickname is Babley. So it will, you know, she gets called B all the time. So it'll probably be something um, for her, but I'll work those out. But I thought it'd be really lovely to use some little hexagons out of the inside of the jumbo heart, the hexagon out of that, not the jumbo heart, the heart out of the gemstones with the red blade to create some hexagons. So um, I've created one golden rod and two black. Probably will allow me to have two photos and a title. I think I'm possibly going to use the... Uh, Happy Days title out of um, the, the must-have laser cuts, cut titles number three. But we'll confirm that once I confirm my photos. But looking at that, I think that that would be lovely. So let's go ahead and finish putting the rest of this together. Now we have some bees and we have our base. So you can see that I've gone ahead and stuck down all my... Um, uh, honeycomb uh, border bits that I, I cut up. I looked at, um, I haven't stuck these down yet, but you may, if you want to add extra intrigue, you may, the, the negative bits that come away, you may want to strategically place a few of those. I just wanted to show you what they are going to look like. So I think uh, I will put um, um, my two bumblebees on the page. So I think possibly one facing this way here and the second one here. And then in the centre will be our gorgeous photos and title. But you might want to line them up. like that and you know certainly could do a, a pen dotted you know little stroke trail to maybe towards the center that would be really cute and then I picked out some um, some just some flowers from the botanical burst flowers that we could line up something like this And you will see that comes together quite nicely. Whichever way you want to put it. Maybe that way. Maybe I'll put that one downwards. There we go. So it's it's a really cute layout. And I think, um, like I say, once the um, the bumblebee punch comes through, I'd be almost tempted to add another one or two uh, bumblebees to it. Um, but I'll come back to you once I've finished sticking everything down properly and with some photos. Thank you. Okay, well I've added my photo and added a journal box as well as the title and added a little bit of pen work for the trails of my bees and I'm pretty happy with how that uh, has turned out. I might add a date inside the honeycomb to finish it off, but pretty much, well, that's all done. 
Hope you enjoy.